amazing people welcome back again to my channel you know how we do it here it's your girl uj so today quick one i want to talk about something i saw this video on the internet you know kenya has been trending for the past how many days and since the gen z's of kenyans came out to protest everybody every african leaders are scared they are scared people in the parliament in fact they are also because they don't want what happened in kenya to also happen in their country so guys i want us to take a look at this video then we'll come back to the video and react on it let's take a look at this video this kenyan mp what he has to say and then we'll come back to this video and react that is not what drives me what drives me is how do you get a member parliament driving a mercedes that costs 49 million shillings and we are watching and that is no more and it is okay and it is okay shame on us then we make sure this money doesn't go to the schools. We make sure that hospitals have no money. We start building hospitals now. We want the poor people to come to those hospitals. Poor people can't come to Nairobi Hospital. They can't come to Aga Khan. They can't, some of them can't afford Kenyatta. You saw the other day, Kenyatta has a debt of 6.6 .6 billion. The Eldoret Hospital. Elder KTRH has a debt of 3.9 billion. When you ask, they tell you we don't know where the money went. Are we fools? Do we need to buy houses which have got 15 bedrooms and drive 19 cars and put them in your parking lot and you want 10,000 acres of land? You want a ranch? You fools. You go and buy a ranch in Australia. This is where we are. We keep blaming the police. The policeman cannot do anything. Have we ever gone as a Senate to go and see where the police lives? How he takes his kids to school and his salary is 19,000. And this house has to start thinking about those things. We guys must begin, and we ladies and gentlemen in this house must begin to agree that we can reduce our salaries, that we can drive smaller cars, that we can wear kaundas. In fact, the only thing I'm very annoyed about the president, I'm the one who started wearing kaundas. Now he has given kaunda a bad name. I want Kenyans to love kaundas the way I love them. Let us wake up, Kenyans. We can't play football. Money comes from FIFA, it is eaten. World Rally Championship, money comes from there, it's eaten. You go, you want Kenya Loan Tennis Association, they only want 50,000 to hold an international uh, tennis tournament. Not even the minister appears there. But when the minister is traveling out of the country, he's got how many people? Private jet, goes to Dubai, books one of those hotels, luxury hotels, and he comes back to Nairobi with the same nine people he took with a private jet. And you assume that the Gen Z's don't know. These days they track you. They can know which private jet you took, where it went, and how it came back. Many of us are worried because either because of history or because of what has happened. We have got a lot of money now. We are owning so much land. Please allow us to have spatial planning. Your land, we can have an implemented law in this house to protect your even identity. But please don't stop stealing public land. Let us have mercy at our people. You saw people in from Eldoret and Kakamega talking about, oh, our chambers which our grandfathers left for us. Now you guys who are MPs and senators, you come, you chase us away, and then you throw us into court. You go and bribe the courts. And I want to talk about the judiciary. We respect you. We know that you are most of the time under the pressure. We know there are certain things which you can even be blackmailed. But we want to hold you at a higher standard. We must hold the judiciary at a higher standard, the legislators at the higher standard, and make sure the president is also at the higher standard. That is how we can move as a country and stop these nonsense. We can't we behave like monkeys running through a forest looking for bananas without knowing whether it's the bananas they want or it's oranges. I really, really want to say this, Madam Speaker, finally. I was nearly giving up on my country. I have changed my mind because of today. The young men who are fighting for this country have done us proud. Let us treat them with dignity. Let us make sure we engage them. Let us stop doing the things which make them angry, desperate, and upset.
with the ruling class. The truth is, if this country breaks down, it takes all of us down. I can tell you, I was in South Sudan when we were doing the comprehensive peace agreement. I visited as a minister, as a young minister, to go and do what was called a referendum. I've been to Khartoum. I have been to Mali. I've been to uh, um, a country in West Africa. Um, I'll remember the name, Madam Speaker. You look at how people have been treated, and now the political class has treated their people. Everybody looks destitute, and everybody is desperate. Let us change our ways. We can run the country peacefully, make sure everybody is a person of dignity. Let's treat our people kindly. A country that never takes care of its most vulnerable is a country that is not worth talking about. So I want to ask the political class, I want to ask all our auditors, I want to ask all members of the county. So it means that if the youth did not stand up against the government, it means the government wouldn't have to do anything. So I'm super excited that the Kenyan youth, the Gen Z's of Kenya, stood on their ground that, oh, Ruto, you must remove this finance bill. And right now they are still agitating for Ruto to step down so that someone else can come on board and take over. So guys, I want us to take a look at this video. One of the MP in the parliament in Kenya has this to say. And when he was talking about this, he forgot that Kenya youth are not having it this time. And the next action he did will surprise you. Let's take a look at the video. But now you are being told that we are very, uh, we, we, we like the public, we listened to you and we have changed. Nothing has changed. And the last thing is, the last thing is, when we will come to the appropriation, the only two things which will happen, either they will amend the appropriation act to be able to absorb this, or they will borrow more. And so Kenyans will be in a, even in a deeper shape. Oh, no, that is not parliamentary. I, I'm sorry. Parliament will be in a deeper hole. That hole, that big hole, that you... So guys, you've seen this video when all this were happening, it did not only affect the people of Kenya, it also affected a lot of African countries, even Nigeria. They are all affected. They are paid. The senators, they are all agitating. Please do Nigerians well. You know, even as it stands now, the president of Nigeria has even brought out a speech and he told the people of Nigeria that he is not the one Nigerians should hold accountable. The Nigerian youth should hold their governors accountable for anything that's happening in their country or in the state. If their state is not being developed, that the people of Nigeria should hold their governors accountable, not him. That he has different things that he is doing. Let's take a look at those people. They know exactly what they are doing and if the people do not stand up against it, they will keep on doing those things because they know those things they are doing isn't the right thing. I don't know what you guys have to say about this video. Please, if you've not subscribed to the channel, subscribe, like, and share. Please give this video a super, super thumbs up and turn the post notification to get notified whenever I post amazing content. See you guys in my next video. Bye.